Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out saying, Hey, how can you measure things in an STL? I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so you need to find your STL file. I made one up for this because I do not have the user's original design, but it looked something like this. If you import an STL, it will be one piece, so you cannot measure the different pieces in Tinkercad dimensions, but you can't find the whole because once again, it's an interpreted design, so it really thinks it's just one piece. The first step I want to tell you is to get it to the corner of a grid. It just makes everything easier. If I do one more nudge with the arrow key, you can see that lines up just perfect. Now when I bring out the ruler tool, I can bring it right to that corner. And when we click on the design, it tells us all those measurements. Once again, though, it does not tell us the whole. All right, friends, so here's where it gets magical. Two steps. First, put the work plane right on that piece you want to measure. Bring out a cube. I'm going to get it right to that edge, and I'm going to shrink it down. You can see when I click on this, it is giving me measurements. I'm going to just zip that in. If you want to make your grid smaller to make it more perfect, you can. And then we need to put the work plane back down on the ground. So now we're measuring back from this spot. Check it out when you click on your new object that fills that hole. You can easily see that it is eight millimeters across. It is 19 millimeters to this corner. And you can see the measurements this way as well. So that my friends is how you can use the work plane and the measuring tool to build the part that fits in that spot to get your dimensions for whatever it is you're trying to measure. Friends, it does take a little work, but this is how you can take something that was built somewhere else and find the dimensions you need. Friends, of course, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.